All right, let's try this again. I had just filmed an entire intro for this video and I forgot to put the memory card in. Long story short, it's been a minute since I've created a video on this channel and uh, ultimately with all of the comments that people have been leaving, as well as the subscribers that have been joining uh, this community, I thought why not? Why not be that extra voice in the community for those of you guys that are looking for you know, more views on different products. So that's what you guys are gonna get. Um, and today that's what we're gonna get as well. Uh, today we're gonna be taking a look at the Theragun Mini. I've been using it for about two months now. So I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts. I'm gonna give you guys my opinions. And ultimately, we're gonna have a conversation in the comments like usual. So without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and hop in to today's video. Hypervolt and Theragun are probably the two more popular massage therapy guns that are out there that have been dominating the market for quite some time now. I would say for the last two years, you would probably have only seen Hypervolt as well as Theragun. Now you're seeing a lot more of these smaller gun massage companies that are creating these units for people to use before and after workouts. And I would say that for the most part, for majority of this last year, as well as prior years, I was kind of a skeptic with these guns, you know? I, with stretching and mobility and recovery work, um, you know, it, it takes a lot of work, especially for myself uh, that has spent so many years, uh, two years, uh, primarily in weightlifting, but, you know, five years in CrossFit, um, you know, you begin to learn how important recovery and uh, mobility are, and using a gun to, to, to shoot your legs for X number of seconds, uh, to me, just didn't sound appealing or effective. Now, my opinion on massage guns definitely changed as kind of we went into this quarantine home workout sort of um, world now where, you know, I haven't touched a barbell to be quite honest since probably last February. Um, it's definitely sucked. Um, and I've had to, to adjust my training. So, you know, over this past year, I haven't really done much CrossFit outside of body weight wads. Um, I ran two half marathons. Um, I've been doing a lot more intensive um, work from a different perspective, not necessarily heavy weightlifting work. And I found that my recovery has needed some elements that needed to be improved. Um, and so this last year, uh, the, the coming months, uh, I, I wasn't really thinking about it, but then uh, I would say about two months ago, um, I saw that Theragun actually released a more affordable massage gun. I mean, if you look at a lot of these other guns that are out there, you're gonna be spending anywhere from three to $500. Yes, there are some cheaper um, brands out there that you could purchase, but at the end of the day, when I'm investing a lot of money into something, I want something that's gonna last a very long time. So uh, with the gracious gods at B at my work, uh, we were able to um, buy equipment and have a stipend uh, for our health and, and wellness. Uh, so I was able to use that to purchase a uh, massage gun. And so that's why I ended up purchasing the Theragun Mini, this little guy here. Um, this guy is 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 really really cool. Um, I've been like I said I've been using this for the last month. It's very compact. The cool thing about this is that it fits in my gym bag very easily, and it just overall is just really easy to use. Um, it's very straightforward. Um, you have one button here. You have a charger here. Um, so what you get in the box that comes with it is you get the Theragun Mini. Uh, you get this nice little uh, carrying case, and then um, you also get this little packet here that has just some information like instructions, you get some stickers, um, and you get some really, um, you know, just everything is just in a nice, very neat package. Um, this all, you get all of this uh, along with the charger for about $200 plus tax. Um, so it's about half the price that you would probably spend on a on the top of the line massage gun um, but it's probably in my opinion going to be just as effective so let's dive into the specs a little bit more so you guys have an understanding of what you're actually purchasing um, on top of the other contents that i had mentioned one of the more highlights about this gun uh, that is listed or that they talk about um, on their website is the quiet force technology that they have embedded in this uh, massage gun. Uh, to be quite honest, with regards to the Quiet Force technology, I did find that um, initially it was very quiet. 
Um, it was not super, super loud, but um, over time I have noticed, I'm not sure if that's just because it got, it's a little bit looser than it was when I first bought it. Um, it is a little bit louder uh, than it was, and it is a little bit looser with regards to the, the percussions. Um, but to be quite honest, I mean, it's what do you expect with something that is meant to massage you um, and that's moving at thousands of percussions per minute or per second or whatever the case may be. Um, so, you know, that is something to, to keep in mind is that you will notice that over time it will get a little bit louder, but it's not so loud to the point to where it sounds like, you know, somebody is using a jackhammer in the middle of the street. Next, uh, in terms of battery, so this comes with a 12 volt lithium, lithium ion battery, uh, which will charge it uh, for about 150 minutes. Um, I would say on average, I use this for about six minutes a day. So it's probably gonna last you, a charge is probably gonna last you about two weeks or so before you actually need to charge it again. So um, yeah, so I use it, I mean, if you're using it twice a day, uh, that might reduce the battery life. But again, I rarely ever actually charge this thing. So I haven't really, I would say I've, I've maybe charged it three or four times since I've owned it over the last two months. Um, so it really, really holds a charge really, really well. Um, I would say that's probably one of the highlights of this. Um, and then it also comes with a charger as well, um, a DC adapter charger, so you can charge it wherever you need to charge it. Um, and it takes, I would say, I usually plug it in at night, by the morning it's charged. Um, I'm not, I actually haven't tried to test it with it charged or plugged in, uh, used it plugged in while charging. Uh, that might be something you can do, I don't know, maybe if you buy this you could test it out, I just haven't um, done that. Um, but yep, yeah, uh, so about 150 minutes is, is pretty nice, uh, pretty, nice, pretty nice charge on this thing. So the, so the one downside I will say about this, um, and that's the next topic, is the attachments. So unfortunately, when you do buy this, you do only get one attachment. But if you have another Theragun um, item or Theragun massage gun um, that you've purchased previously, and maybe you're using this as like a travel um, gun and you leave the other one at your locker at the gym or you leave it at home, um, those attachments will also work on this one. So um, you are able to take off uh, the attachment, put it back on, um, and you're also able to add other attachments to it as well, um, which is nice because uh, for one of the other topics I'll get into a little bit later, there's also uh, an app that you can use that you can follow different um, uh, muscle recovery or muscle stimulation sessions uh, before and after your workout. So um, if you wanna use a uh, one of the tips that they recommend to use, you can go ahead and do that using this um, uh, massage gun. In terms of speed, uh, so you're going to, essentially the way this works is that you're going to have uh, three different uh, speeds that you can set this to. Um, there's 1750, there's 2100, and then there's 2400. Now, if you use it on the 2400, it's definitely going to reduce the battery life of this machine. I find for me that the first speed, the 1750, is more than enough uh, for muscle stimulation as well as recovery. I try to do yoga pretty regularly as well, um, between one to two times a week, um, as well as stretching and stuff like that, um, mobility work uh, before and after my workouts. So uh, this is just kind of like a little bit more of like icing on the cake. It's not my solution to everything. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, you know, some people they need, maybe if you had a really, really heavy lifting day um, and you're wanting to add this element for your recovery, you might put it on the second or the third speed uh, to get more of a deeper tissue massage uh, to increase that blood, fl blood flow. Uh, but this is just, that's just what I use personally. I think it's the case to where you're, it's gonna be something that you need to test over time. There are times where I up it to the second, but I don't really need anything more than that from what I found. I haven't really f had a, a heavy training session since February, so I don't really need that much um, uh, percussion. Now, I mentioned earlier that there is an app, a, uh, accompanying app that you can also use 
uh, when you're using your Theragun Mini or any of the other Theragun products uh, to prepare yourself for a workout or to cool down from a workout. Um, there's a ton of different apps here. I think they're also adding other programs, um, things like yoga. I think there's Pilates. There's all sorts of other things. Um, and I think they're also trying to create a platform for people to be able to work out at home. So I think there's a lot of things that are taking place, which are, are pretty cool with the app um, that uh, really uh, partner with your Theragun Mini to give you a really great experience. Now, the one thing I will say is that uh, the downside to the Mini versus having the other, um, the other, their gun, massage guns, uh, can't can't think for a second, um, is that uh, the Bluetooth technology. So uh, the Theragun Mini does not have Bluetooth in it. Um, so you're not able to have the uh, messages from the app tell you when to switch to a different body part when you're going through a specific workout. The other, I believe the Prime as well as the Pro, those all have Bluetooth technology to let you know when to switch to a different um uh, body extremity when you are going through one of these these uh, warm up or cool down uh, sessions. Um, outside of that, though, the one thing I will say is that I don't think that takes away from how great of a value this thing is because after you've gone through one of the sessions, I would say for about a week, you kind of already know what to do for that specific session. So to be quite honest, I haven't really used the app as much because you know, when you go through the running workout warm up or when you go through the running workout cool down, um, you're going through the same sort of um, progressions each time. So I've kind of memorized those. So I don't actually use the app very often. I actually ended up getting logged out of it because I wasn't really using it. Now, uh, with the other items as well, I guess apparently um, it'll also suggest, it'll integrate with um, Apple Health as well as Google Fitbit and suggest different things for you to do. Um, if you've been sitting down for a very long time, if you've been running or whatever the case may be, it'll the app will suggest that, or no, through those other uh, connections through Google uh, Fit as well as Apple Health, it'll suggest stuff through the app, kind of like how you use Strava um, and that links to your health app. So that's a cool thing, but again, I don't think it's a um, uh, requirement or a must have item with regards to your training. Uh, like I said, I don't really use the um, app very often because I've memorized the workouts. Um, you know, when you're training, uh, weightlifting and you, you're, you're warming up a certain way, eventually you kind of just walk in and know what you need to do to actually warm up or to cool down. Now, I think the ultimate question that we have today is, is the Theragun Mini a good value? Should you purchase the Theragun Mini? And to be quite honest, I think it was probably one of the best purchases that I've made in all of 2020, especially from a recovery standpoint. Um, I think I've definitely gotten my money's worth from this. I use it every day. It definitely helps speed up uh, my warm up. Uh, going into all of my workouts. Like I said, right now I'm doing a lot more running based training. Uh, I am doing some hit and as well as some body weight wads, uh, some dumbbell wads, but nothing too serious like I was when I was doing weightlifting. But I would say that again, this was probably the best $200 plus that I've spent on an item uh, for training. Um, I think I'm really um, just stoked about using it every single day. Um, I kind of get excited, kind of like uh, you know, when you're getting ready to train. And I think it's just, you know, the construction of this thing, it was built really well outside of the the loosening aspect of the, um, the gun after you use it for a period of time. But I have nothing but good words to say about this thing. I think it's great. I could toss it into my gym bag. Uh, when gyms were open, I would take it with me to my work gym um, and I would be able to um, use it while I was there before I train. Um, it's just the the right size. It's perfect. It's not obnoxious like the other Theraguns, you know, when you pull those things out, it's like this big, huge like gun that you're trying to like use on yourself. This is like super small. It's discreet. Um, you don't have to worry about anybody asking questions. Although I did have a very interesting uh, experience. I was uh, traveling home from Seattle to uh, the San Francisco airport, and I had this in my backpack because I was using it on the plane. Um, you know, when you're sitting for a very long time, um, you know, you want to make sure that you're, you know, nice and supple. 
Um, and I was going through security and the guy pulls this out and you just see this look on his face. It's like, what the hell is this thing? And rightfully so, it, it does look kind of weird uh, for all my adults out there. But um, I would have to say this thing is awesome. It's the best $200 I've spent, like I said. Um, and I would definitely recommend checking it out for yourself. As always, um, you know, definitely with anything I recommend on this channel, make sure you try it for yourself, test it out and see if it's something that works for you. If not, you can always return it. Um, I bought this from Best Buy, so I also bought the warranty with this as well. So if anything happens to it, uh, it breaks or whatever the case may be, I can always return it um, and get a new one. So that's always a great thing too. So definitely looking forward to seeing what a Theragun is bringing to the table in 2021 with new products, new, um, ideas, whatever it is that they do. Uh, but I definitely think that they hit the nail on the head with the Theragun Mini. So guys, with that, that's gonna be the end of this video. If you enjoyed this, make sure to hit that like button, make sure to subscribe, uh, as well as check out all the other videos that I have on this channel with a bunch of different other products uh, that you guys might be interested in. So guys, with that, as always, may your barbells be heavy and your coffee be black. This is David, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.